What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another standard video. Today, I'm playing a deck um, that I actually didn't create, but I will make some changes to it. This was on the deck dump for the 6-0 Platinum and Mythic lists, whatever that is. And I really hate, they don't give the name of the player. So I want to give credit to the person who did it, but they just don't. It's not on there, or at least I couldn't see it. I don't know. So this is a deck from some random hero on the ladder. Um, it was built for best of three, so we're going to make some changes to it. But yeah, it's pretty much a Bant Enigmatic Incarnation deck, but it has a food sub-theme with the Wicked Wolf and Gilded Goose, which is pretty cool because you can fetch up the Wicked Wolf and you really only need like one or two. And then Yorion blinking Trailicrums and Goose is really good, and Wicked Wolf, really. So I really like that. And then you also have Satessin Champion as another engine piece. So you pretty much have your Trailicrums and your Satessin Champion which both pair really well with Incarnation. Trail Crumbs Incarnation is also quite good. So I really like what, what they got going on here. Um, the thing is, so pretty much how I would do this, if I'm going from best of three to best of one, is I just pre-sideboard for the meta I'm running into. So I've been running into a ton of rogues, so I definitely want some Destiny Spinners, which is really cool for the deck because it's great for Incarnation and Satessin Champion, and you can blink it with Yorion and draws you cards with a champion out. Kind of want to cut one Mystic Subduel, maybe. Um, maybe one Omen? Nah. Um, Glass Casket seems pretty good. I'd rather have that over Mystic Subduel at this point. Um, but it does trigger Champion, so I think I want to try that first. I want one less Omen of the Sun. Um, maybe go three Destiny Spinner and cut one ECD. There we go. It'll make it harder to fetch up the Dream Trawler, but that's kind of a long shot anyway. And I just want, uh, there's not a ton, I'm facing a ton of Lurus decks, so having four ECDs is kind of a liability at that point. And yeah, the one Legion Angel on the board's fine. Sweet. Yeah, I love the deck. Glass Pool Mimic is so cool to fetch stuff up. So yeah, pretty much you're looking to accelerate into Incarnation with Goose. So turn one Goose, turn two Trail of Crumbs, turn three Incarnation. Like, that seems pretty good to me. And then you can even sack that and get the Champion. Wolf of Haven is Ramp, that also draws you cards. Mystic Subduel making them lose abilities really intrigues me, so I'm going to go with their choice there and see how the deck performs. And yeah, some Gargroth to fetch up. You know I love Yasharn. Perfect mid-range card. Yeah, let's go. Let's go have some fun, boys. See you in game one. Okay, this looks a little more promising. Still can go pretty wrong in a number of ways, but... Ooh, the mirror match. I need a white source and or an enchantment. Maybe trail crumbs. White land. I'm looking like four colors right now. Ooh, if it's just straight up Mardu, I can kind of respect that. Hopefully champion can stick around. I have a feeling apparition might be here. Whoa. That looks beautiful. <gasps> yes. Okay, 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 okay. Sweet, let's go. The deck's popping off now, fellas. Boom, trail of crumbs. Oh, baby. Let's go. That's our second white source. I guess I'll attack. Black Lance Paragon? No, okay. Omen of the Sun's fine. I gonna say, if you had Black Lance Paragon in a Mardu Yorion deck, that'd be interesting. <laughs> Your, put, just put Yorion in a Knight's deck. <laughs> that'd be a way to throw him off the trail. Oh man, I think I've seen a couple of these. And they have Ruinous Ultimatum, which is like the entire reason I would want to play the deck. Cause that is just awesome. Okay, so I guess I can apparition the simulacrum. Oh baby, why would you use both my white sources? White, green. So I can go birth into apparition. Getting a lot of velocity right here, fellas. Planes. Apparition. They don't want to draw a card off the simulacrum. 
Let's go. Jump blocking. Probably has the Yorion in hand. I would like to have removal for that. I don't though. ECD. Rude. Really rude. Really not very nice. Destiny Spinner, okay. Um, so we're definitely attacking for two here. Okay. Do I just play Yorian right now? Seems not ideal. I think we go champion into spinner. If he has a Yorian in hand, that would pretty like might suck though. Play an island. Got turn. He knows I can't mystical dispute or anything either. Yeah, that might have been a misplay. Another one? Okay, didn't expect that. That's pretty rude. Sure. That's a goose. Let's play our land. Well, let's see. Could just a Marius call. These don't hit it. Um. Huh. So I could just go goose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm definitely playing goose. Play planes. Oh, I can't marry his call. The doy. Um, the doy. Attackers. I'm really scared to ruin his ultimatum right now. To be honest with you. But don't think I can play around it right now. And if I can untap after this, we're looking pretty good. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Okay, yeah. He'll get a 4 4, but I get rid of the Omen of the Suns. So that's fine. And turn. And I can attach Wolf of Haven here. So now I can sack a food. And Solemn's exiled. So this next ECD fizzles. That's cool. So now I can activate Trail of Crumbs and find something. Or sack a food and find something. Mirror's Call is still off the table. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's the best nightmare. Yikes. Big yikes on that one. On the goose. Makes sense. Makes sense. Do you think it's like stomps or something? I'm curious. Spike field hazard maybe? Uh, I don't know what I would expect him to have. I think he has shatter this guy. Omen of the forge, should have seen that coming. Should've seen that coming a mile away. Okay. Wanted to play a creature so that I can interact with Wicked Wolf, but it's not happening right now. Okay, let's try and find something. Um, guess I take the Haven here. It's better if I draw Satessan Champion or Wolf Willow Haven, not Wolf Willow Haven, <laughs> Enigmatic Incarnation. Okay. So I can attack for four. I think I'm actually just going to play the wolf. Got that uh, the other thing would cost more. Well, I need a way to get rid of the Yorion though. I guess I'll save it. Wolf Willow Haven. I'm gonna put it on the island. Okay, there we go. Sweet. I wanna make sure it wasn't <laughs> causing problem. Sweet. I could put Yorian in my hand, I suppose. No, I'd rather draw into stuff with trail crumbs. I'm gonna need some action. I should have done one main phase. What am I doing? 
What am I doing? I should have gone main face so I could play a land if I hit it. Which is highly likely. This guy's at the top is terrifying. He can take my Marius call. I should have played it as a land. Unless he hits Omen of the Sun. Yeah, I forgot about that trigger too. Wow, okay. Did not expect that. Unless he has Agonizing Remorse or something. Now he knows about Wicked Wolf. So maybe he won't play Yoria. Still playing it. Makes sense. Sure, we go to end step. Trigger all your dudes. Pulse best nightmare, bro. Causing trouble. Wow. Didn't expect that deck to be working as well against me. Makes sense, though. My spinner! No! Alright, so I need two food around for next turn. But I can sack one. Okay. Go pathway. Need three life. One minute C is pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Let's see how let's go. Wicked Wolf, and then two mana that leaves three mana left. So it's gonna take my Amaria's Call, probably. Maybe I'll just play that as a land, and then hold on to the other one. I guess I'll Wicked Wolf first. <clears throat> hold control, please. Get your scry going, sir. Target you. Submit. Sack of food. Sack of food. Okay. Use a hold. I like this engine piece we got going here. Mystic Subduel or Omen of the Sun. Guess Omen? I don't know. What creatures would I hit? Plus he has Yorian to blink everything. Boom. Archon's pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Fight. Test your might. We must fight. Okay, so I could just put Yorian in my hand and then play Amiri's Call tapped. Or see if he takes it, because I feel like he might just take one of the omens. All right, let's see what he does. So we can't ECD my wolf. Scry's to the top. What? I don't want him to take Omen of the Sea. That's what I don't want. Mary's Call makes sense. But now I have another 2-2 coming in. Another easy dude. This guy is hitting like a champ. My goodness, can I draw one, please? Pretty please? Goose is interesting. So let's go. Archon, definitely. One, two, three, four, five, six. Please let me hit a land. One untapped land, please. I really need this to also hit the Yorian. Oh gosh, no, am I too greedy? Ugh, okay, that's that's actually good though. Yeah, we'll take that. Really wanted a Yorian there. So I could blink all the Havens and get even more 2-2s. This is pretty good too, I guess. At this point, do we sack the Trail of Crumbs? Or the omen. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll have nine mana, so I think I can ditch a haven. Um, glass pool mimic is interesting. Kind of want to get rid of the tome. Get the apparition first, and this will let me mimic the apparition next turn if I need. So. 
Okay, getting rid of his card advantage. I have to get rid of his battlefield before he gets the Yorion back, so. I'm gonna miss that graveyard. It was like a graveyard to me, man. Is that both? All of my Satessan champions? Oh, gosh. That's pretty brutal. Play the Tome. If he draws right now, it kind of tells me he doesn't have a ton going on. Oh, he just scries? Has a Yorion. Don't they always? <laughs> this dude. Drawing like a... Like, a, like an actual champ. Gets to kill the Apparition and exile the Archon or the Incarnation. Good choice on the Incarnation, bro. This is brutal, man. Can he still the Yorian in the yard? Okay. Um, so definitely playing a Goose. Do I mimic the Archon? Maybe I try to go wide? And then one, two, three, four, five. That could be an option. I think I could get behind that. Cause I just need one removal spell for the Yorion and we are in there, dude. Okay, okay. My engine is slightly better than his engine, but he's just drawing a lot better. Don't square to the top. He's thinking about it? Oh no. Come on, man. Please tell me he's not a fourth easy D. I don't need to blink those. Okay, we're gonna make six two twos. And he's at 12, so. to a planes. <laughs> That's a lot of triggers. <laughs> cool. Dream Troll is pretty good. Mystic Subduel? That's also pretty good. Okay. Two on top, bro. Two on top. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Doom foretold. Okay, where are my ECDs? This is where I'm getting punished for cutting that one. But like, my goodness, dude. Flashing an Omen of the Sun does nothing for me. Is this that Omen of the Sea? Okay. Wicked Wolf, you gotta draw me that ECD, man. Well, I guess I wanted to fight the Yorion. Oh gosh, bro. I guess I'll just play a Dream Trawler and then sack the Wolf Willow Haven next. Uh, in case I hit a land, I guess I'll do this now. Oh no, it could have flashed an Omen of the Sun in his turn. Dang it. Sorry guys, I'm playing real sloppy right now. These are some big brain games. 31 life. Pretty cute. Oh man. Yep, you can scry and then blink that. Um Okay, that's actually pretty decent if I can copy the dream crawler. Let's go, dude. Some of the forge makes sense. This gets back Yorion. You can blink the tome, draw a card in response. This is crazy, man. Three ECDs in the top 20 cards in this guy's deck. <laughs> it's fine, we're, we're doing things. Guess I should be happy I drew a couple apparitions. And he's a 5 6. Yikes, forgot all that. So now I need another food. Big yikes to that one, dude. And you can kill the Dream Trawler. Oh, bummer, dude. Huge bummer. So that's a huge, another huge mistake. Okay. At least I'm losing by my mistakes, right? I'm drawing ACDs, sure. 
That's an advantage he has, but I could have clawed out of this pretty decent. Killing the Yorian right now would do us a huge service. Resolve. We'll sack the Haven. Okay. So. I think I might just have to double Wicked Wolf here. There's worse things to have to do. Control. Submit. Sack of food. Cool. Resolve. Get that going. Omen of the Sea is pretty cool. Don't have enough lands for it though. I guess I'll take a land drop. But I can't do anything anyway. Let's take the omen. Yeah, bottom. Resolve. Could just Mystic Subduel it, but. You know. Because, yeah, next turn on my upkeep, I can flash this in to sack it. Cool. Mimic over here coming in clutch. Love this card. Glass pull mimic. Submit you. Fight you. Submit. Sack of food. Draw a card. Oh, that feels so good. Yep. Opponent over there having the time of his life. Incarnation is a good draw. Now I can fetch up an apparition to get rid of the Doom Foretold. Maybe I'll draw and land off the Trawler. Another incarnation, okay. Boom. Now I have a battlefield you gotta deal with. Wish I could make them all indestructible, but, you know. What five drops can I fetch? Gargaroth? Pretty beast. Okay. I need to stop on my upkeep. Hmm. To the top again? Dude, what is going on? Come on, man. <laughs> if you drew a shatter off the top. Maybe another Doom foretold. That'd be one he'd want to keep on top. Okay, okay. At least it's not a shatter. I think I can win this. Flash in, Omen of the Sea. He doesn't seem to have any priority, so... Yes! Okay, I was gonna flash both those in, then put Mystic Subduel on his wall. Swing for lethal. Didn't even need a Mystic Subduel, but just in case he has a removal spell. Let's go, dude! Oh, even with my misplays. Sweet! Hope you guys learned a thing or two with my misplays. Heck yeah. This is a pretty good hand. I'll keep. I got a turn two play. I have apparition mana. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Okay, black, red. Croxa, that's rude. Really rude from opponent. Um. Hmm. Probably Mystic Subduel. I imagine they have some Sack Goblets. Or I could go Archon and hope to get it back with ECD. I guess I ditch the Mystic Subduel. Because I only have one creature out next turn, so I'm definitely going to Apparition it. Oh, baby. Okay. Okay. Well, now, so if I go Goose this turn. I'll have four mana next turn, so I can Apparition and then just Goose off the Trail of Crumbs. Or I can just play Archon. Seems pretty good. Pretty good. I knew he was going to kill it. Bone Crusher. Boo. Okay, still nothing I need to Apparition, so... 
I think to be mana efficient, I'm actually just going to put Yorion in my hand. Okay. So it seems like we might hit some land draws for the ECD. That makes me feel better. Okay. Only one thing in the yard. Wicked Wolf! Oh, baby, I could set up some sick things with Trail of Crumbs and stuff. So many options, dude. I kind of just want an apparition though. It's kind of bad to another Bone Crusher Giant, but it will take up most of his turn. And I don't have double green for Wolf. Oh, I should have thought of that. Okay, yeah, I'll just apparition. Especially with Yorion being available next turn if I draw a land. That'd be pretty cool. Terror of the Peaks. I need a land and I need a bad. Holy cow. I need it real bad. Because he's really good with Croxa. Um, trail of Crumbs, please. Plus this way in case I draw a green source. I can play Wolf, Sack, draw a card. Oh no. That's terrible. Okay, yeah, you're just going straight face. Makes sense, man. Oof. Um. I think we just need to gain some life. I only need to sack one food for the wolf, so. Gotta be kidding me. Dream Trawler is not good enough. If I sack the food, then Wicked Wolf doesn't do enough. We're in a pickle here, bro. We're in a pickle. Maybe we could hit like a goose? Wolf of Haven kinda does it, but I don't have the food. That's a bummer. He's gonna play a Crocs and kill us. Oh my goodness, really? Three terrors in the top 13 cards. <gasps> That's insane. Dude, if I was hitting land drops though, imagine how sick that curve would have been. <sighs> just stumbled once. Um, <laughs> awkward hand, but we'll keep. We have one on tap land. If I draw another, we'll be good. I don't think I'll be picky enough to send this back. So actually, no, that'll be fine. Because I'll play this goose in the tap land and then... I thought this was Trail Crumbs. Oh my gosh. Should not have kept this hand. Not even close. All right. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. I'm like, oh sweet, I can draw into my action off of the Trail of Crumbs. But uh, okay. Rule Adventures. Bit of a yikes, but we'll take it. Goose. Pathway. I mean, Trium. So we're gonna go Amaria's Call, Haven, and then we can Omen of the Sun. Flash. That's probably what we'll do. Getting to bolt myself in with this feels kind of bad, but had to do it. Had to do it. Okay. So he has no turn to play. That's pretty sick. Second innkeeper is horrifying. Oh gosh, dude. Okay, Yasharn's actually quite good. I will absolutely take the Yasharn. Thank you. Oh man, what a lifesaver. Boom, boom, let's go. Sweet. So now he's a blocker. So at least when they're adding to the battlefield, they can't also be doing damage. But he plays one Lovestruck Beast. Okay. Still some drawing cards, that's pretty cool. Um, one, two, three mana. So I can Wolf of Haven, Triome. And then play Omen of the Sea. 
No, I'm gonna play the planes. Just to have access to Omen of the Sun in case he kills Yasharn and attacks with the innkeepers. Don't know if he'll play into that, because on a Yorian deck, that's definitely. You know. Thing. Plus, being able to chump block the mammoth is fine. He has Ember Cleave. That could be something to consider as well. No? Okay. Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna try not to die here then. <clears throat> Glad I gave myself the option. One, two, three, four, five. So I can play this tapped and these two. That could be these. Double stomp, bro, I dare you. You can't Ember Cleave. So you didn't attack with all your dudes. Do I double block here? Maybe a triple block. Nah, I'm just gonna jump block. I'm gonna have more Omen of the Sun tokens, so I can just do that for a while. Plus, blinking your Shire Rock would be quite good. So what I could do is play Yorion and Omen, put Yorion in my hand, play Omen of the Sun, and then next turn, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I can't do both of these. So I guess I could Yorion and Omen of the Sea. Depends on if I draw a land. So we didn't, oh yeah, he had a fetch land up. Doi, a uh, doi, -do doi. Play him, draw two cards, big yikes. Really wish I had some apparitions going. Wicked wolves, maybe? Okay, so I can Yorion and play Omen of the Sun. If he has Embercleave, we lose, but that's always the case against these decks. Always, always. Always, always. Yeah, really good at it in triple block there. That would have been embarrassing. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This card's sick, man. It's just straight up a three mana five five. Especially when you're drawing this many cards off innkeepers. Oof. So yeah, Wicked Wolf would have been pretty good to draw. Not gonna lie. Gem Razor. Yikes. Giving him trample. No, he's a 6-6 six, six and kills my Omen of the Sun, which is rude, by the way. Don't know if you guys know this, but very rude. And that is why we chump boxed last turn. Okay, that's a lot of damage. No Ember Cleave, though. It's pretty cool. Maybe he'll stomp my goose. Two, two stone quills for me. I feel like he has another gem razor. Not a fan of that. Okay, so. Omen of the sea. I guess I'm gonna thin up my deck a little bit first. Cool. All right. Everything we draw here determines a lot. Two, four, five, cool. Boom. Mary's call is pretty good. Success and champions, alright. But after Yorian, I don't know if it's that good. I do like the Amiri's call though. I don't have triple white. No, I do. Um okay, yeah. I think I'm gonna look for an apparition instead. Let's go. Oh, I get to flicker the goose, too. Beautiful! Alright, cool. So, trigger your Sharn first, so we can thin out the deck. Boom, boom. Submit. Another Yorion. ECD is quite good. That is very good. Okay, so now I have a couple bodies on the battlefield. A ton of chump blockers. Another Yorian's amazing. 
So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana next turn. So I can't ECD and Yoran, which sucks. However, double block there. If he has Ember Cleave, he won't die. So that's eight. He kills one of them first, and then he's a five-five. Just trying to make sure I can kill him around an Ember Cleave. So he would deal. Five, so kill him, him, and then take five. Stomp won't do it. Um, Rimrock Knight doesn't change a ton. Okay, no. It was just straight up. Okay. Interesting. Did have the Bone Crusher Giant, so yeah. Glad I didn't just walk right into it. Place him. Sure, dude. Sure. It's a lot of card advantage. Pretty brutal. Pretty brutal. Wanted him to kill the Yorion, to be honest. Surprised he killed the Yasharn. Um, so yeah, I do think I actually just go ECD. On the Love Struck Beast, though I can blink it with Yorian in upcoming turns. And Temple the Scry. That's a good one. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Okay. If he has Ember Cleave, he's being real patient with it. Gem Razor to kill my ACD would be really sad. But, you know, have to happen. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Because he killed my goose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Okay, so Yorion and Incarnation is something that I can do. So that's pretty legit. Love it. What am I fetching up here? Four drops. Wicked Wolf's good. Legion Angel's pretty good. Archon is quite good. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do. Otherwise, I can get an Apparition. Yikes. Big yikes to that one. Um, fetch up a Gargaroth or the Dream Trawler. I can't fetch up Gargaroth. I can't do Dream Trawler, though. Okay. I could block this if he has another um, Love Struck Beast, but if he has another Love Struck Beast, he can make another 1 1. Plus, he's those guys too, so. I almost wanted to just triple block here. So he can't have anything else. And then next turn, I'm gonna get a ton of dudes. Yeah, figure we might as well do this while he's tapped out. Take seven. Another primal might could be bad, but we'll see. Oh, it's because he I was gonna oh, I should have not done that and blank the ECD, but whatever. Definitely sacking the food. So, here's what we can do, you guys ready? I have to make sure I order these triggers very correctly. So I can play the incarnation. Blink the other three things. Well, actually, I think I'm fine having this. Just uh, get back some sort of random, even a Yorion. So, Incarnation, Yorion. Blink these two. Oh no, these two. Oh, I kind of want to get the other ones, but that's fine. This will trigger another token, though. So actually, I do think that's pretty good. And they're all monocolored. So yes, yeah, submit these three. Leave the Omen of the Sun. Sack the Omen first so I can get the Archon. And then the other ones come back. 
And I get three tokens. Bottom, bottom. Cool. Sweet. Part of me wanted to fetch up a Wicked Wolf there to kill an Innkeeper, but I feel like if I just keep the battlefield really nice, it should be fine. And his Ember Cleave costs more. So we did attack with like pretty much all of them. Ooh. Oh, I think he just did that on purpose. <laughs> Sweet! It works! Alright, let's hope we're up against rogues or something. Destiny Spinner will be good. That's a mountain. That is a fervent champion. Not rogues. Let's hope our goose doesn't get stomped. Although, if he doesn't have Embercleave, Gargaroth can clean this up pretty easy. So I do like having that in my opener. It's a pretty good thing to have in best one. Okay. Stop. Sure. Makes sense, bro. So I can go Planes, Destiny Spinner, save myself some life, scry something to the top of the temple. Or heck, I'll just put Yorian in my hand, maybe. Stomp can still mess up Destiny Spinner pretty bad, or Rimrock Knight, but it will mess up his curve kind of awkwardly, so. Shocks, bolts in. Smashing. Annex. Perfect champion, sure. Bolt attack. Well, gonna have to do it sometime. Might as well make him do it now. Spike Field Hazard, that's even worse. Okay. Ooh, that's a good draw. I'm down with that. Uh, do I want to save it for Bone Crusher Giant? I don't think so. I think I need to interact now. Plus, then it can block the other Fervent Champion. It doesn't seem to have priority right now, so I don't think it's another Shock or Hazard. Could have another Stomp. Oh, Castle. Torbrand? Really? Really? No blocks. Too many lands, deck. Way too many lands. Don't need a Wolf Will Haven. Just drawing things in the wrong order. Um, TF is Embercleave. I'm so screwed. So that's three plus four, seven damage. And I already have a play next turn, so I'm just gonna hold up the food. Omen of the Sun would actually be quite good here. Unless he has Ember Cleave, which they always do. Lovely. We'll go no blocks for now. Oh, lovely. So dead. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on, man. Let me draw another apparition. That'd be cool. He has to have a land, right? Oh no, he has the zero equip. Okay. I'm like, how does he even have priority right now? So the food did keep me alive. Um, it's another deck, I guess. <laughs> it's unbelievable how many lands I'm drawing. Gargra. No attacks. With castle, it should be lethal. Or heck, even just a stomp in his hand. Cause yeah, with castle he just kills the Gargaroth. And then hits for six. So we can attack with just Torbrain and kill me, unless I double block. Don't gotta think too hard about it, bro. I'm just giving you an opportunity to make a mistake. Oh. Lovely. You just had it all. Um, this is an embarrassing hand. 
If I had like a land instead of this, maybe I'd keep. I mean, I'm on the draw. It's a Yorion deck. See, this stuff's not great in the Yorion matchup. This is a little bit better. I feel like ECD is the strongest thing here, but Legion Angel I can actually play, I'm hoping. Oh, I don't know, dude. Maybe put back Incarnation. Nah. This is a good way to come back from the again, so. We'll keep the Legion Angel. This needs to be Jeskai Yorian. Um, that's pretty good, but I really need a land. Bum, 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 bum. So not Doom Foretold. I feel like we're good against the non-Doom Foretold versions. It's my destiny! Don't give me with that mystical dispute, bro. Looking for a land drop. So he's got all action. To the top, it's probably double land. Alright, that's a land. I can't complain. So what three drops can I fetch up? So Testing Champion's pretty cool. Um, Mimic would do nothing. Apparition. Take out the Solemn seems decent. Yeah, and I have another one. Yeah. So this feels like what's right to me. Yeah, much better than Legion Angel, getting this out there. So, no attacks. Sack you. Get an Apparition. Take you out. <clears throat> that Solemn, though. I kind of want a Solemn in this deck. I guess your Sharn replaces Solemn. But Solemn's so beautiful, man. Such a wonderful creature. Six mana. Has his own apparition. Alright, give me a land, please. I want to ECD and fetch up a Dream Trawler. Oh, not quite. Not quite. So. Trail of Crumbs. Oh, yikes. He has Mystical Dispute up. Okay. Destiny Spinner. Okay. What you got? Omen of the Sun? Sure. Gonna have to take care of that apparition, man. Get him out of here. I'm walking here. Give me that 3 3. Let's go. Probably has another one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 mana. Big yikes. Oh, I can't even fetch up the Dream Trawler. Oh, good thing I didn't <laughs> go for that play. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I'm a bit of an embarrassment. Puts him in hand. Yep. Okay, Wicked Wolf's pretty cool. I'm a fan of that. I can't pay for the Trail of Crumbs, though. I think we're just going to have to attack with the 3-3, three, three, maybe? Okay, jump blocking makes sense. Legion Angel. Okay. Sequence from the sideboard. Sacks the Omen. Okay. Well, now I'm just gonna apparition away the Omen of the Sea. One top, one bottom. I wish I had a 3-drop that would give me lands. Mimic. Copy you. There's the Omen. So Shadow of the Sky is probably what he's playing around. Playing with. Playing towards. Oh. Ooga. Even better. He just casually plays Ugin in their Yorian deck, bro. <laughs> 2-2 two, two, and a 3-3. Three, three. Bro, where are my land drops? This is unbelievable. Okay, both on top. Actually, I don't want that incarnation, so... Let's get them getting to do this. Okay, so he could Ugin minus 2. He'll lose his things, but... Unbelievable. 
pretty crazy, man. Going down to eight. He plays Yorion. I'm dead on board. Omen into Yorion makes sense. One top, one bottom. Wow. Okay. So this is what, like turn six, turn seven. This land drops for many turns. Yeah. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add more lands to this deck. That's for sure. So if I exile him, I die to him. If I exile him, I die to that. Moving on. Okay. This is a hand I can get behind. Do need another white source. Unfortunately. Rakdos. Okay. Okay. Another white source, please. Ooh, can't turn that down. Can't turn that down. Because then I can... I just can't really ramp into it. Boom. White. Haven, the white source. He has stomp. So my first apparition is going to die. But this way I can play Trail of Crumbs or just put Yorian in my hand. And then Incarnation. With me having this limited mana, probably don't want to ditch the Haven. Wow, still nothing there. Ooh. Well, I could shock this in to the, the Yasharn. Yeah, I think it could be worth it. Did some land drops, fellas. Boom, boom. Or I could have played Archon, but this guy actually gets value. Even if he has a uh, Hagra Mauling. Murderous Rider, okay. I knew it was going to be one of the two. Yeah, if he's going like the more controlling route right now, I can definitely keep up with that. Like if he taps out for like a Rankle here or something, I can just Apparition it. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, apparition and Trail Crumbs, let's go. <laughs> What'd I tell you? What did I tell you? I'll probably discard my tap land. Which is totally fine. Discarding land two. Okay. Yeah, let's go apparition. Take him out. Planes. Trail of crumbs. Could save that for the Archon, but I'm gonna want to sack this, so. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six mana. He will get four, four. Uh, that kind of sucks. Don't like that. Don't like that for me. We can Burgess Rider instead of Giant. Now that's interesting. Alright, so instead I'm just gonna do this right away then. Boom. Oh, baby. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think I can keep them both. So I could even shock one in, or bolt one in to play the other. Seems pretty good. Don't have another murderous rider or something. Down to two cards. No. Rude! My opponent's rude. Two attackers. Probably actually just block here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. What do I want to sack here? Guess I could incarnation, sack the omen. Yeah, okay. Seems good. Play one of these tapped. Sack the omen. I'm gonna get a wolf. Oh wait, no. Thought it was three CMC. Dang it. Well, this is awkward now. Could apparition the murderous rider. That seems kind of bad for me too. But what I gotta do? If I had wolf, this would have been a good play. <laughs> Bummer deal. <clears throat> yeah, I was thinking I could get Wicked Wolf fight down the uh, 
murder spider, and then hold up the food to block the 4-4. Don't have another stomp, please. Okay. I can live with that, I guess. But now Amiri's Call stabilizes the board for me, so that's fine. Question is, do I sack the food? I think so, I'm gonna play it safe here. I mean, I can blink it with Yorian later, so it doesn't, who cares. That's a land. So I could Yorian blink, but that doesn't really do anything for me right now, so. Make some angels. I drew three Ameria Sky Ruins this game. That's pretty crazy. All right, let's get a champion going. Start drawing some cards. Cause he's gonna play the giant this turn if he's running out of gas soon. <clears throat> so six mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can do this and put this in my hand, which is exactly what I was looking for. And I could fetch up the dream trawler too, if I wanted. It's actually not too bad. Really hard for them to kill. Soul Shatter, I guess, would do it, but I have not seen any of them play that. Blood Chief's Thirst will be good against these, but still losing battle he's fighting. What you got, opponent? And this is what I see this deck running into. I mean, obviously my aberrations are giving him threats, but... Oh, dang. Okay. If you attack with both, I can just block the 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> yeah, I would have done one in my face, I think. Yeah, that's fine. I was planning on doing that anyway. Cool. Um... So I can play a planes. Just put an ECD out there. Put a Yorian in my hand. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna attack. I think Dream Trawler will win me this game. I feel like a Dream Trawler now is better than a Satessan Champion in the future. <laughs> the one thing is I don't get to blink with Yorian, but that's like whatever. He needs two kill spells. Liliana, okay. Making discard you card. You had a fraction of my power. Does it really have that and a heartless act? Yes, I have exactly heartless act. Okay. Ooh. That was a close one. Tax for three. Fine by me. Drip card. Alright. Kill Lily, attack you. I'm just surprised I haven't seen a Croxa yet. Usually they have like 20. That's a land. Get some life back. If this guy hits, I think I win. Seems good. Goose action. Stomp the goose. Got a little goose stomping coming in. Hey, there it is. What'd I tell ya? <laughs> Probably should have seen what I fetch up first, but whatever. Um, Mimic. Trawler. Let's go. <laughs> Glass Pool Mimic is so sick. Literally, my two lands are what won me this game. Amirius Call and Glass Pool Mimic. This is what we call lethal. Boom! Let's go! Gosh, this deck's fun to play. Well, everyone, that was the deck. Really hope you enjoyed. I really, really did. Um, I think it made a big difference. Um, I didn't pull up... I made a couple cuts. Um, cut out a Mystic Subduel and one Destiny Spinner for... A land or a visionary and another land. I felt light on lands. Because this is 27, right? Plus this is 31. Plus this is 33. Um, 
Wow, is that really it? I thought I had even more than that. Yeah, oh dang, I should make add another land. Um, yeah, because I really wanted a 3-drop that I could fetch up that adds mana and or cards. I really wanted something that would just like fetch me like a basic land, put it in my hand, but I think this will be better. Especially because Goose into Visionary is such a good start. Um, but probably what I should do is cut... Uh, maybe another Subduel? Or a Destiny Spinner, really. Um, I haven't been running into much rogues on the ranked ladder, which is weird. Unranked I was running into all the time. But yeah, really? 27 lands. This floor is 31, 33. Yeah, that does not seem like enough to me. You do have Goose and Wolf Haven, but if you miss land drops, this deck stumbles so hard. One Birth of Miletus? Eh. Yeah, so I think what I'd actually do is cut two Destiny Spinner for one Birth and... Another forest, really. I never have trouble with my islands. All right, cool, sweet. So yeah, that's what I would do from now on. But yeah, deck's pretty good. Um, you even saw me make some mistakes and I was still winning some pretty hard matchups. So absolutely love the deck. Let me know if you guys enjoy me um, playing some decks that were found off the deck list dumps, maybe making some tweaks to them. I certainly enjoy it. It takes a little bit of stress off of coming up with another new deck, testing it, making sure it's good to go. So. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have an excellent day.